dictated the pack again for the visit of Graham Potter's man. And all the personnel that they use, of course, you'd expect a strong performance. Lots of control and uh, experience in the middle of the park. Seems to be moving too freely right now. Seems to be holding He's showing his worth in that penalty area as well as the other. The game at this period have been there when two days rest, three days rest. Because Brighton have pushed players forward as I thought they could do. Chelsea don't always get that opportunity at home. Now Lamptey trying to get round the back of Rhys James, and the free kick has gone Chelsea's way. This, this season, Pulisic only making his seventh start tonight, which underlines the uh, point that you're making. Here's Byrne, now Veltman. Back on the side after injury. That's a good ball over the top, and Lamptey stealing a march on Rhys James. Still Lamptey goes. Much rather that had come on his uh, right foot. James showing him inside. Uh, difficult chance for him. And about four times in four years, and not really building a career that way. He's got to get in somebody's first team, and he's dropping down on that. Burns still forward. Oh, all from Adam Lalana. Now Tariq Lamptey. Lana for Moda, Lamptey again. Lee Pesuma. Kukurea, letting fly. They compose you with the football. It's a little bit easy for Pesuma to find space oh, in the Chelsea midfield. Chelsea five wins. At home, uh, before tonight's game kicked off, three draws. The one defeat, of course, in Man City, where they were comprehensively outplayed, weren't they? There's an area in which Brighton have a perceived advantage in terms of uh, battle for pace. They haven't been able to try and exploit it. This is better at the other end of the penalty area, though. Basuma. No handball. And here's Basuma again. A little give and go, and he's just taken a tumble inside the penalty area. Brighton fans appealing. Mendy with an outstanding save to deny the Lana. Oh, Brighton and Albion dominating possession but having the majority of it in this uh, first 45 minutes skirmishes inside the penalty area but nothing really concrete here's Basuma Lamptey Lallana and McAllister now Mope Back for the Argentinian again. It's a palm singer for Mendy. And the hard time whistle is going to come at a good time for Thomas Tuchel. Probably just not for the players, because you know uh, lots of players can't switch off unless they feel as it's if it's uh, the advice. Jorginho that gave the ball away there. Correa finding March. He's got three to try and hit in the penalty area, pulled back instead and flicked towards goal! And Mendy, at full stretch, seemingly didn't get anything on it, but didn't have to... Fancy themselves, they've certainly got a little bit more pace on the counter-attack. To apologise for his inability to find... Burn. Such a big gap for him to head towards the goal of Sanchez and take responsibility and shoot yourself, it's a poor, this poor execution in the end. And now McAllister gets it through for Mope! And they were... Too much in the way of immediate support, but he found the one man that was there. Mope doing well as well. McAllister, now Veltman. Good ball in for McAllister. The angle is tight. Mendy out to get it away. Mope with an effortless blot. Rudiger that bang to the knee. Shape they've Against. moved Moda out to right wing back. And here's March from left wing back. Board again from Kukare, it's all too easy for the Brighton midfielders to pick up possession in that kind of diverted into the path of Kukare, and he's hurt himself as well. Lalana with a nice touch, so too well back. A little nutmeg to find Kukare, and the header is in! No more than they deserve. Danny Welbeck has waited more than 10 years for that goal against Chelsea. The Brighton fans in raptures. Chelsea's vintage 20 for Chelsea and Brighton and Hove Albion, and it's the Albion that are celebrating.